Hello everyone, praise be to God, and welcome to the last solution of the logical journey of the Zumbinis. Bubble Wonder Abyss, very, very hard algorithmic solution. We're going to take one of the most mind-boggling puzzles and strip it down so it's super easy. Look forward to that. So this one also has two grid layouts, like all the others. And I'm going to just show you a really simple way. What we're going to do, look at this trait here, this trait here, this trait here, and, uh, what else? What's the other? Oh yeah, and that's right there. Sleepy Eyed, Propeller, Blue Nose, Red Nose. Well, we got Blue Nose here. We've got our Propeller here. We got our Red Nose there. And then we've got our Sleepy Eyed guy there. Cool, those four. Now, what we need to do is select two Zumbinis from this group that don't have any of those traits. We need two Zumbinis from this group that don't have spiky hair, because otherwise they would go in there. So, you can go, and you can go. Cool. So those are our important zoombies. We're going to send everybody else this way. I went over why you do this in my main Let's Play, at least for one of the grid layouts. But for this one, I'm going to say, just screw it. We don't need to know the logic. Just choose those zoombies and set them aside. And if you do that, it's a really quick solution. You don't even have to understand it. You'll just look like a total boss when you play this level. People will be like, whoa, how did you figure that out so quickly? You must be a genius. And you can be like, yeah. And if they're like, wait a second, how did you figure that out? Just be like, oh, there was this guy on YouTube. I think his name was um, Arthur or something. Yeah, look at his channel. And then everyone will go to a different channel. All right, so we've got our famous Zumbinis. Now we need to take our Sleepy-Eyed Zumbini and send him up there. And you'll notice, we have two Sleepy-Eyed Zumbinis, we have two Red-Nosed Zumbinis. But keep in mind, we needed a Blue-Nosed Zumbini. That guy was the only Blue-Nosed Zumbini, and he happened to have Sleepy-Eyes. So we can't send him, we have to send this lady. I just realized, if any of these guys have pink shoes, I'm in trouble. I don't think anyone does, though. Yeah, where? Oh, there we go. I'm <laughs> like, where? So, I, I got lucky by mistake, but what you do when you're selecting those two Zuminis, they can't have that trait, and they can't have that trait. Or, no, they can't have that trait, and they should have that trait if at all possible. Because if one of these Zumbinis had pink shoes, I'd be in trouble, because I would have just sent them on a one-way ticket to their own death. Anyhow, we send them all up this way. And then we can save them afterwards. And again, you can rely on the algorithm carving your way around the Zumbini traits that this will work every single time. Alright. So what are we going to do next? Well, what we're going to do next is we're going to send a Zumini this way, and we want to trigger the purple switch first. So we're going to send our Blue Nose Zumini. If we send our Red Nose Zumini, we'd be in trouble because she would go into the Vortex. So he's going to do that, and after that we're going to send our Propeller Zumini. Yo, baby. How do you like this? Then after that we're going to send our two normal Zumbinis, and then our final Savior Zumini. Alrighty, and that's that's Bubble Wonder Abyss on very, very hard. At least grid layout number one. Grid layout number two is actually more or less exactly the same. It just it looks like it cuts it quite a bit closer. <laughs> so that'll be fun. But yeah, literally do exactly what I did. Look at the this one, this one, this one, and this one at the beginning to f select your four zoom media. You Look at this it. marker you and that marker to select your two that will go after that. And then just send the rest there in jolly old St. Nick way. And welcome, one and all, to the second grid layout. So this one looks pretty interesting, does it? And we're going to solve it pretty much the same way. We're going to look at some specific fields and select our Zumbinis carefully. We are going to need a ponytailed haired Zumbini. We're going to need a red nose Zumbini. All right, well, red nose here. And that leaves us with one ponytailed Zumbini left to do that. Sweet! Then we're going to need a Zumbini with sleepy eyes. Good, good, good. And we're also going to need a Zumbini with normal eyes. All right. 
So sleepy-eyed Zumbini, we have only one. Normal-eyed Zumbini, we also have only one. All right. Now here's the thing. We need to make sure the two Zumbinis we take that to accompany us don't have normal eyes, for one. That's very important. And make sure they don't have a red nose. That's also important. All right. We should be good, so we should just be able to take any two Zumbinis we want. So you and you. And then the rest, we are going to send straight up. So again, place more or less exactly the same way the other grid layout did. Just need to be very on it. Don't take these trait markers uh, for granted. Those could be different, and those could potentially screw you up later on in the run if you are not careful with the two Zuminis you pick. If one of those Zuminis that you pick happens to have a trait that matches this marker, you're in for a world of hurt later on in the run. Anyhow, we've got a lovely lady here, lovely lady here. So there are two ponytailed Zumbinis, but we also need a red nose Zumbini, so we can't use her. She's the ponytailed Zumbini we need at the beginning. So she's gonna go up there, she's gonna hit the pink marker, and then she's gonna get stuck in the magic field. So what we're gonna do now is send all our Zumbinis from here over down here. They're gonna make it to the exit and hit this switch a whole bunch of times. Get stuck in the magic field, but that's fine. One of them will be stuck at the end, but that's no big deal. We'll deal with them later. And they're gonna hit that switch just the right amount of times, like in the last difficulty, that this will be stuck permanently going to the right. All right. Everybody go. Everybody is invited to the feast tonight. Nobody's gonna get that reference, Artie. Nobody's gonna get that reference. Literally nobody. How could they? <laughs> All right. Now we need our sleepy-eyed guy. That's you, Mr. Magoo. You're gonna go that way. Sleepy-eyed guy is gonna hit that marker, which will allow us to save the Zumbini by sending our red-nosed Zumbini ahead. All right, because she's gonna go up there, hit that marker, and push her out of the magic field. And I must say, the game does an incredibly terrible job of, dis of explaining how magic fields work. And by that I mean, they don't. They don't explain how it works at all. You literally are pretty much guaranteed to lose this level the first time you play it, just because you have no idea how the magic fields work. They work like this. Zumini touches it, they get stuck in it. A Zumini who pushes them uh, in a bubble will push them out in the direction that like the first Zumini is moving. If you hit the colored switch that matches the magic field, they will automatically be released, and they will continue going in the direction that they were going in when they hit the magic field. All right, last Zumbini, you're gonna go this way. With your normal eyed powers, you're gonna go down, hit that switch, and then these two Zumbinis are gonna go to the exit, and it's gonna it's gonna look like an incredibly co close call. This Zumbini is just barely gonna get ahead in time so that they don't hit each other and pop each other's bubbles. Like, just watch how close it is. Yeah! Like, literally, if they were any closer than that, I am pretty sure they would both die. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyhow! That's it! All of the solutions I could think of that guaranteed perfect solutions on all of the different difficulties on all the different levels in the logical journey of the Zumbinis. I really hope you enjoyed these videos, and you know what? I, as if, if these videos just help even one person with Zumbinis, then it will all have been worth it for me. Anyhow, that's... The end of the Let's Play, except there's one thing that I want to show off, and it's something that I don't think I've ever seen before. That is credits. All right. Chris Hancock, Scott Osterwheel, and TERC. Thank you. Michelle Bushneff, Michael G. Rivard, Jonelle Adkison, Dennis Lehe, Lori Strand, Michelle... Oh, I can't read those names that fast. Thank you all. Everybody who worked on this game, thank you so much. Except the, the person who designed the hotel on Very Hard. In which case, I'd like to say, I'm sorry, that was not a good puzzle. Please fix that. I love this music. 
But I'd like to say thank you to you, yes you, watching on your TV or computer screen right now. Thank you for taking this log logical journey of the Zumbinis with me. This game is really fun. It's also on Steam, but it will not be the same game as this. Like, same puzzles, very different art style, and apparently some of the puzzles are broken. I must say I was not a fan of the way it looked, which is why I was determined to make this copy work. And also because I own this copy and I don't have to spend the money on Steam buying a different one that's inferior. That was my logic behind it anyways. Get it? That was a pun. Logic. Logical journey of the Zumbinis. There are also two other games uh, starring the Zumbinis. There's Zumbini Mountain, uh, Mountain Rescue and Zumbini Island Odyssey. I have never played those? I don't really have a desire to. The reason I really like this game is because I grew up with it, and I did not grow up with the other two. I also think they, again, changed the art style and that the puzzles are not as good. This is from what I've heard. So do not expect me to play either of those games, but I thought I'd throw that out there for those of you who are interested. Ah, Broderbund, thank you for making this awesome game. Oh, I just realized, this is repeating everything. I think we've watched the credits twice now. Oops! I didn't realize that. The credits literally just go for infinity. <laughs> oh, oh, how many people noticed that and were like, uh, Artie, credits are over. You can, you can push okay now. I'm so sorry. Anyhow, that's it for this Let's Play. Thank you so, so much for watching this Let's Play. I'm Colorful Artie, your host as always. If you liked what you saw, then you should check out some of my other Let's Plays I've done. And I upload videos pretty darn regularly. I try to do one every day. So I would love to see you back in the future for any other Let's Plays that might interest you. I really hope to see you guys in the future. And I'm so happy that I was able to put out this content that you guys enjoyed. So until we meet again, have a great day and may God bless you wherever you are.